be able to find the Tech One as well as other Tessera remote devices under this button here. So here's the Tech One I have on my network. The factory default settings are a default host name of the type of device it is, a Tech One, and its serial number, as well as being set to DHCP. And on this network, this is the DHCP address I received. So if I want to change network settings, I just click here and I can change the host name as well as setting a static IP or leaving it as DHCP. I could set a device description. This allows you to set a much longer name that would be relevant to the system that the Tech One will be participating in. And finally, Tech One properties. This is where we can set the device ID. The device ID I set here needs to exactly match the device ID I set in the Tech One block. The device IDs are case sensitive, and you also have to consider whatever spaces or other special characters you have used. Finally, I could set my lock code from here, idle timeout of the lock code, dimming of the screen, and putting the display to sleep. Now that I have set the device ID, let's load this file. Now that I have loaded the file, you can see that the Tech One has received the programming. Here are the control items I programmed earlier. To show that the Tech One is indeed controlling this block, I'll have this block open while I make changes on the Tech One. So if I was the user of this Tech One, I can now select the source of interest and change its volume. 